Hello students, welcome to Saurav Sir's classes. Today we are going to solve DSE 2015 question paper that is the exam as an entrance examination for MA Economics in Delhi. No mix. Yeah. So in our last videos we have solved questions up till 9. So now we are going to start with question number 10. So question 10 says R2 till R2 be a linear mapping that is for every pair of vectors x1, x2, y1, y2, n scalar c1, c2, here we have been given a condition that is function of c1 that is x1, x2 plus c2 and multiplied with y1, y2 is equal to we can break this fun single function in two different functions and those are c1 into function of x1, x2 plus c2 into function of y1, y2. So we have a uh, condition here that is the linear mapping now suppose f 1 comma 2 is equal to 2 comma 3 and function of 0 comma 1 is equal to 1 comma 4 thus in general function of x1 comma x2 equals so here we have been given linear mapping and we have the general formula here from here till here we have the general formula here we have function of 1 2 here we have function of 0 1 so from these two functions in this in this you can see here that we have the sum of two fun fun sum of two numbers inside the function so here also we have sum of two uh, here we can write 0 comma 1 or 2 comma 0 something anything like that and we have two different functions here here we have one function which is f of 0 comma 1 so our other function can be f of 1 comma 0 which can be easily obtained from this equation i have calculated that already so you can also calculate by pausing the video and the answer to this will be 0 comma minus 5 so using the linear mapping we can calculate function of 1 comma 0 which is 0 comma minus 5 so now using this fact here we have so let us write this equation in a simpler form so this can be written as function of f1 comma f x2 x2 x1 comma x2 which will be equal to x1 into function of 0 1 comma 0 plus x2 into function of 0 comma uh, this will be function of 0 comma 1 so solving this here we will get function of x1 comma x2 which is equal to x1 multiplied by 1 0 we have found that is 0 comma minus 5 here we will have 0 comma minus 5 plus x2 function 0 comma 1 so here we have function 0 comma 1 which is 1 comma 4 so multiplying this by 1 comma 4 so we can solve this easily we will put the before brackets part together here we will have before uh, before comma parts and the after comma part together to get both the terms before and after the comma so here we have x1 into 0 plus x2 into 1 comma our this is the first term from here and here and the second term we can find is from this minus 5 into x1 so here we have x1 into minus 5 plus here we have x2 into 4 so this will be x2 into 4 so solving this here x1 into 0 we will get 0 x2 into 1 we get x2 comma here we have x1 into minus 5 which will be minus 5 x1 here we have x2 into 4 so this will be 4 x2 so our answer to this question that is the value of f x1 comma x2 will be x2 comma minus f x1 plus 4 x2 now let's check the options so as you can see option number d is matching with our answer hence correct answer to this question is option number d so i will like to end this video here you will find solutions to the further questions in our next videos